Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Beginners tutorial of how to use do until loop to create multiplication timetable. So let me show you guys how this works. You change that to anything. Let's click on that and that's what you get. Let's assume we go back down. And the object we're using here is number up and down, list box and uh, a button so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together let's do that now guys okay guys we start a new project by clicking on create new project all right if you're using 2019 make sure the language you're using is visual basic right there and since visual basic is selected i'm going to make sure confirm is selected right there and the next thing is you click on the next next button and right here let's give a project a name i'm going to call it vb underscore table there we go and that's all there is to that so what you then need to do is to click on the create button that is it right there i'm going to click on that button there okay there we go guys once your development environment is ready you need to define the size of your form how you want it so what i'm going to now do is maybe it's about that is fine and i will then go straight to the toolbox right here if you don't have your toolbox let's go to windows and click on reset window layout since i have my I will just click on the toolbox now I need three components one is one of the component will be the button just double click on that I also need a list box right there click on the list box okay then the other item that I need is numeric up and down instead of me typing number I just use the numeric up and down which automatically generates values you see you can see and the numeric up and down look at the numbers in there that is the list box and that is my button I can select the three items together and go straight to the properties right here and let's increase the font size and I will make the font size bold. Let me go for about 18. There we go. And there, guys. So the form. Okay, that's the size of the form that I intend to use. Now, let's arrange all of the components in order. Okay, that's my button there. Um, bring this down then this we just need to expand it a little bit more take it right up bring this down and it's advisable you give your projects you give each of the components a name so the list box i'm just going to change that to l lst table there we go why the button or chain the button to btn table then the name the text on it let's say show table and there we go so this very number up and down that is it there i can just say table up and down table table up and down so that is the name that's all there is to it there now let's double click on this very button right inside the dialog area of the button i'm going to declare a local variable so this is how you declare a local variable in visual basic say dim just say q as integer there we go and I'm going to give it a value of equals one okay if you want you can always just say Q underneath here equals one all right but I prefer it the way it was before so that's fine so get rid of this it's the same now the next thing I want to do is you see my display 
table I'm going to reset that dot clear so if there's any value inside it I want it cleared dot cleared okay now the other thing that I'm going to do is I will also like it refreshed okay dot let's get it refreshed there okay, it's a good practice so for whatever number you value you enter you just refresh it now we use a do what a do until loop with the do until loop this is how you write you say do until whatever value equals let's say equals 13 so if we say do until do until q equals 13 and the system once you press enter the system automatically loops okay give you a data that said loops right underneath there so the next thing i'm going to now do is i want the following to be entered for the list box so i'm going to say list box one which is the list table dot item dot add and um, what do i want to add i want to add whatever we have inside queue so if i run this now this is what you guys will see you will see 1 to 12 but if we run it now it's going to give us what is known as indefinite loop however if we don't want that to happen all we just need to say is q plus equals one there okay which means increment it by one so if i run it now there we go if we click on show table this is what we get okay supposing we don't have this if we don't have that let's comment it out that's how you comment just enter an i from there and that's it if we run it now you will see nothing will appear and there will be an error you won't even be able to end it look there's nothing happening it's still looping look at it it's still going okay although you can't see anything but it's just still looping so the only way is let's end it from here now let's place this back to then display our timetable what we need to do is the value that we have in here okay so that is known as table up and down so i'm going to say and that is to concatenate concatenate means put together let's enter the multiplication timetable sign there then we concatenate it and we then say whatever value that we have in here we might as well use by value so that's going to be table table up and down the number up and down let's see what's the name need to get the name right so let's go straight to the properties okay it's up and down so let's just copy that now back to the codes Place that in there table up and down dot text there okay and let's copy all of this paste it here and if we have let's list that Q multiply that by whatever value we have inside table up and down and that is it here copy all of this and just paste it right here and we can just close that bracket and that's all there is to it so let's run this program and see how it's going to look like so if i click on show that is zero times table four times table six times table and seven times table and that's how you create your own multiplication timetable using 
number up and down list box and a button with a do until loop thanks for watching bye for now and please do subscribe have a nice day